Well, my scrap pile saved me again. I have a lot of things that have gear boxes on them that use 80, 90 weight. You know, a lot of the old machinery does. And tractors and that sort of thing, the old stuff. And like the M37, I've got, you know, multitude of gear boxes on that. So I go through a lot of 80, 90. And I always had this contraption. It's a pump, and then you've got a, a hose that runs, and you stick it into the fill plug and start pumping. Well, it developed a leak down on the bottom. There's a kind of a foot pad, and there's a seam there, and that kind of bent and started leaking. Well, I hate to be without that thing, but it was going to be a tough patch. You know, hard to get from the inside, and you know, I, so I've been using it for, for like a year. Just put in what I need and pump it out, you know, and then dump it out again, and you know. So it was always a nuisance. But I got to thinking, I had another one, an older one. They're both Lincoln. But this older one, you know, that was made for gear lube. The older one, this is the pump off the old one, was made for filling the old grease guns. You know, they had a coupler on them before you had cardboard cartridges that went in a grease gun to use these. Well, the pump is pretty much the same, but I was able to use my old pump because the, the bolt pattern and everything is the same. The pump is, the upper part is the same, the bottom is slightly different. You know, the grease one has a little bigger pump on it because the you know, grease is a little hard to pump. And this pump was in better shape and it already had the fitting on it for the, which had the check ball in it for the gear loop. So I was able to switch out the pump and on the bottom, there's a plate that drops down on the pump. Well, you know, the old one was too big then. So I took that one off of this one and that's the right size. You know, lucky that they were both Lincoln, so the stuff was interchangeable. It's a little different in that this one has uh, toggle bolts that lock the top, and this one had clips, you know, that lock the top on it. But it saved me a lot of work, or a lot of money trying to find another one. But this old one, uh, you know, like I say, it had grease in it. There's still a little grease in the bottom of it. So I'm soaking it with diesel fuel. I'm going to clean that grease all out of there. But then she'll all fit together, and this one does not leak. These are really handy to have. I, I really don't know what people do uh, without them. I suppose they, I think they make some kind of a little plastic pump that goes right on top of the, the jugs. But these are a lot nicer. You know, it's nice you got that hose that can leave the canister out and then just put the hose in and pump her. So it was another time. We're having all that scrap around. Save me, because I, I bet it was probably 40, maybe even 50 years ago. I think I bought this at a neighbor's auction sale, and that was about 50 years ago. Well, 40, let's say, 45, something like that. Because it was when I was first up here. And it's at the junk. But, you know, it's all sealed up, so there's no problem with it. Just I gotta get the old grease because, you know, there's some of that grease is really old. But that'll be good. Uh, you hate to, you know, that thing leaking was always a nuisance to have to empty it out so I didn't lose all that because uh, things like gear lube and hydraulic lube, you know, they, they've all gotten to be rather expensive. So leaking is to be avoided. You really don't want to lose it unless you have to. So this will get me back on track again. Right. It's 
scrap that old one. Because I, I just, uh, to try to fix that, it was kind of dented up on the side. And then it was like a uh, spot riveted underneath and it kind of ripped the seam and kind of took out part of one of the pop rivet or the spot welds, you know. And this older one isn't quite as big, but that's fine. You know, it doesn't have to be as big as that one was. This is big enough to hold it, you know, for any transmission or anything. So I'll be in good shape. Like I say, I really don't know what people do. Uh, you know, you buy gear lube in them little bottles, maybe you can get up there and squirt it in. I don't know. But I've always used one of these, and they're very handy. And when I was a kid, we used to use these, you know, before the paper cartridges came, we used to use these. But they were always kind of a battle. Which is why, you know, everybody you couldn't even buy it. Well, I imagine there's probably some commercial places that still use the old where it, the grease gun fills, but the new grease guns aren't made. Uh, they're made only for the paper cartridges that I know of. But in good shape. Yeah, I don't I don't even know if you could buy a new one of them, and if you did it would have to be a, a commercial type model and it's going to cost you hundreds of dollars. So this is a lot better. Find it, my junk. I've been very pleased with, you know, I used to go to a lot of auction sales and that junk I picked up back then has saved me many times. You know, people always, oh, you should clear the junk out, you don't need that. Well, sometimes you might. <laughs> you know, it comes in handy. Just gotta have room to pile her all the way and kind of keep a running inventory in your mind.